And this is kind of what I'm going to get into in terms of why I'm not a Catholic, in terms of uh, papal authority. Uh, here's the easiest example. In 649, there was a Council of the Lateran, which was convoked by the Pope uh, against monothelitism. Now, there's nothing wrong doctrinally with what it said, but what I want to point you to is the fact that the Pope intended this to be an ecumenical council. So this was the first time that a Pope convoked a council and meant for it to be an ecumenical council. And there's no problem with that. I don't have any problem in principle with the Bishop of Rome uh, having the prerogative to convoke a council and intending it to be ecumenical. But the problem is he confirmed it as such. He believed it was an ecumenical council. It carries the same w w weight as an ecumenical council, but it's not ecumenical. Although, although he's a great saint, he got this wrong. Saint Maximus the Confessor did think it was an ecumenical council. Yes. The Pope's, yes. if you, you you read, it's got the papal encyclicals that follow the the council at the end of his book, and the Pope does not say it's an ecumenical council, but right. it's still papal authority. He gave his stamp to it, so. Uh, it's we, you got to believe it. Like for example, the 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 doctrine of the assumption that's not from an ecumenical council. It's defined by the Pope in 1950, but you still got to believe it, yes. just like this.